feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Welcome back, everybody. We just had a great show with Jim Karam, uh, founder and CEO of Reddington, uh, and also the godfather of the Columbus tech scene. Uh, had an awesome show today. Um, and uh, uh, I'll let John sort of kick us off with the first question of our recap from today's show. Thank you. So, Jim, we talked a lot about, you know, your family started out as a Wendy's franchisees, uh, at one point owning more than 250 restaurants. Uh, when you had that many units and that many people working for you, how did you make decisions in your day-to-day -day operations of the business? Well, I, I, again, I think it was all information. You know, we with multiple units in multiple cities, um, benchmarking was important, benchmarking our results against each other. But then, you know, what we ended up building within Cirrus was a series of um, of measurements versus actual results versus ideal, or we would call it theoretical results, whether it was labor or, or uh, food costs or that sort of stuff. So in other words, if we had two restaurants, for example, and one was running 27% food cost, the other was running 29% food cost, um, that'd be a little bit difficult to manage from, um, from Columbus, Ohio, if your stores were thousands of miles away in Las Vegas, Nevada. So our system would go in and calculate, for example, what should the restaurant be running based upon commodity prices, based upon the product mix, based upon the pricing in the store. Maybe the store that's running 29% food cost is actually doing better than the one that's running 27 because the one that's running 27 should be running 24. Uh, so just a series of those kinds of numbers to uh, arm ourselves, but more importantly, the people in the field um, and then prioritize based on, on cost. Food and labor and, and cash controls were the most important. And, uh, and then train your, and educate your people on how to use and manage the information. No, that's great. And so you, you've built this in-house analytics tool, Cirrus. And I guess at that point, tell our audience a little bit about how did you decide what features you were going to add over the course of time to Cirrus? Well, we had such an advantage of... of of being the being the customer, so we were our, uh, the first customer was us, you know, uh, because it was for our own internal Wendy's franchise. And um, I'll never forget, you know, one of our um, one of our hallmarks was that the information had to be accurate. You know, it wasn't going to be just be this number, this system, and, and and that's just one word, accuracy. But it 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 was just thousands of hours built into that, and what that meant, and what that meant for our customers. And I'll never forget one of the early days when we were uh, building that and coming up with sort of the, um, the, uh, the, 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 the themes behind what our, what our uh, service was going to be is, you know, we had all these reports and all this information and we took it out to uh, the, the Las Vegas market. And I thought that they were going to just, just praise me and put me on their shoulders and sing for he's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> But instead, it became this kind of tug of war a little bit of, well, that number's not right, and that number's not right, and this, and you're measuring me, and you're saying I should be good in this area, but I think I already am good in this area, and it was, it was an eye-opening experience. And I came back from that trip saying, you know, we've got to defend the numbers and be able to defend the numbers. So that, you know, that's just one small example, but it was profound uh, in that, you know, it's not about the fancy technology and about all the glitz and the glamour and the bells and whistles. It's about the accuracy of information, the reliability of the information, and then every other feature or functionality we built uh, from there on out was kind of the same process a little bit. We really kind of experienced uh, um, how it's used in the stores, which they were our ultimate customers, the store managers. Well, we talked uh, on the episode about your journey, about your family's journey from you know one of the original Wendy's franchisees all the way through spinning off a software company, acquiring more markets, selling franchise companies, acquiring new ones. Uh, it's, it's an incredible journey. How has your family, though, been key to your journey as an entrepreneur? Well, my, my immediate family, you know, I, is my, my original family, first of all, has been supportive in everything I've done from my dad to my brother to my mom and my, my, and my parents. They just have always I've always looked at them as mentors and, and they've taught me the value of a good honest day's work and and and, and the value of a dollar um, my current family though has always been so supportive as well there's been a, there was a lot of difficult times you know in growing any as there is in any business a lot of stress a lot of nights wondering if you really are doing the right thing and 
a lot of calculating of all the, the finances that are involved and such. And, you know, number one, to come home to a, to a wife that, that, that never, um, that, that always supported me and, and, and kept it real for me. And then number two, um, I can't tell you the value. I always coached my kids in, in soccer and, and, and basketball and that sort of stuff because I made a promise to myself I wasn't going to miss their, um, their childhood for this. Cause that was, so that was just such an outlet, you know, being able to have little kids who are now all young adults now. Um, it, that was just such an outlet that just relieved the stress and the tension. Um, and it was, a, it was a celebration for us all when we sold the business. It was a good, it was a good uh, culmination of everything. Awesome. Love that. Well, listen, y'all, it is a great episode. Jim's story is incredible. I think we could have done an easy two to three hours today. Um, we're going to have to have you back, Jim, to talk more about that celebration, about that exit. Um, if you want to listen to the full episode, you can find it wherever you get your podcasts, Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Stitcher, you know, is that all? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, smash Just walking down like the button. street. Uh, if you're watching this, go ahead and hit that like button so we know that you enjoyed this content. Subscribe so you can get notifications uh, whenever we drop new episodes. And for Phil, myself, Jim, thank you for coming. If people want to connect with Jim, you got to hit him up on LinkedIn. He'd love to be a part of your professional network. Uh, for all of us here in the tank, for Branda producing everything, thank you so much. We'll see everyone next week. I've been